Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. It's a beautiful day here at Temple Heights on the coast of Maine. And if you're looking for a great place to come in July or August, this is the place you gotta visit. It's right on Penobscot Bay. So it's Temple Heights Spiritualist Camp. And speaking of August, there's a lot of wonderful aspects and here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as lovely Venus is squared by exciting Uranus. Gemini, Venus in your third house of intellect is great for talking and sharing new ideas with your friends. So don't waste time staying at home, travel around the neighborhood. You may meet some very interesting people. However, her square to disruptive Uranus in your 12th house of limitations can shake up your subconscious and stimulate some fears and inhibitions. You may have some unusual dreams and ooh, unusual fantasies. Meditation and prayer will help bring healing and clarity. <laughs> Jupiter, the greater fortune goes direct on August 11th. Jupiter moves direct in your seventh house of partners, bringing a new wave of energy that may expand your realm of influence and bring some well-deserved recognition. Partnerships will gain importance as cooperation allows you to push beyond your personal boundaries. Give your support to others and they will give the same back to you. Remember, love is built on a core of common beliefs. You may gain success through good public relations efforts. Exciting Uranus goes retrograde on August 11th. Gemini, wild and wonderful Uranus turns retrograde in your 12th house of limitations and asks you to review any changes you've made to your spiritual and your psychological nature. You may realize how much fear has shaped your existence. You need to investigate the hidden roots of your past failures for a new stream of spiritual energy and a future vision is coming your way. Get prepared. The Sun, Venus, and Mars go through Virgo from August 23rd to the end of the month. Gemini, the Sun joins Venus and Mars, the cosmic lovers, as they transit together in your fourth house of foundations. Now, you may feel you have the upper hand in emotional issues, but you should not push too hard. Venus is a little nervous here, and you need to keep the peace and cooperate with family members. An atmosphere of love and kindness will alleviate any impulsive actions by Mars, and you can complete any home improvement projects, leaving more time for intimacy and love. Woo! I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. And if you'd like to get more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, go to my website, professorastrology.com, and go to the readings page. And there you'll find a way to order a transit chart or get a private reading that'll be based on your private information and personal to you. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they are free. And please subscribe. Thank you.